Hey guys, Club Carry here, and as you can see, both of the meat ant queens have uh, got their first workers. Now, this one's a bit weird. As you can see here, here's the queen. But as we come down here, you see this other winged worker. Now, this is a drone, and usually I would, if this happened with a uh, different collie, I'd just say, that this queen would be infertile and she would, all these eggs and larvae here would just turn into more drones and the colony would just die out. But, as you can see here, is a regular worker. Now, I have heard of this happening before where for some reason the first lot of workers just gets the odd drone, but um, I think this colony will just do fine. I have heard of it happening before. You can see the difference. Now the drones would usually be produced from a mature colony when the queens and the drones here would do a, a nuptial flight and go off to start a new colony. Certainly it's not normal for them to get drones and the uh, first lot of workers, but they should be alright anyway. Here moving on to the next queen. That's got a little bit less brood, but still plenty. And she also has a worker here that's tanned a bit more compared to the other one. This one you can see a bit of the coloration a bit better. As the second lot of workers come, they'll be a lot bigger. But you can see both queens are doing really well, especially this one. Just look how much brood she's got there. Plenty. Plenty more lar larvae and pupae. That'll probably be hatching in the next few days or weeks. But I thought I'd just give you an update on this, guys. So, well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, update on the meat ant colonies. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.